Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about command line arguments in C Sharp. We'll learn what command line arguments are and how to pass and access them in C Sharp program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. What are command line arguments? The command line argument simply anything that is specified after the executable name in the system command line and these argument values are passed on to our program during program execution. So these arguments are handled by the main function which is an entry point of the application. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples shown over here. So here I have opened one command prompt and here I have written this command line argument demo.exe ravi software professional india so basically what i am doing this command line argument demo.exe is available in the demo folder under this d drive and then this is the executable file and against this executable file i am just trying to pass this command line arguments so what are the command line arguments i passed over here so first argument is ravi second argument is the software professional and the third one is the india so basically here i have mentioned command line arguments here three arguments are passed to the executable so this is the executable file so what will happen these arguments will be well received by this main function of our application which is nothing but the entry point of the application okay how to access command line argument in c sharp Command line arguments are handled by the main method which is an entry point of this application. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here. So here what I have done, I have created one console application that has program.cs. In program.cs file, there is a class my program under namespace command line arguments demo. So this class my program has main method which is an entry point of this application. So in this main method, we accept command line arguments in a string array named args and that's what I have written a static void main a string array args, right? So as it is an array, we can use array properties and methods to play with the command line arguments. So here in this program, what I am doing, I'm just printing number of arguments that we are going to get it by args.length properties and that's what I have written this statement, line number of arguments arg.length. Next, I am iterating the string array of the command line arguments and printing one by one in console window. And that's what I have written this for each loop, right? So that's how we access command line arguments in C sharp program. Passing command line arguments using VGL Studio. So here we are going to see how to pass command line arguments using Visual Studio. So first of all, I have created one console application in Visual Studio 2022. And then I just right clicked on project solution, opted properties, then went to debug general and then click on the open debug launch provide CUI. And if you are able to see this screen over here, so here what I have done, I opened the properties, went to the debug general and then this is the link. I just click that then launch profile pop up window gets appeared command line argument section. We need to pass this command line. And that's what I have passed Ravi Software Professional India. So basically I have passed three arguments to the executable. That's how we pass command line arguments using Visual Studio. Passing command line arguments using command prompt. So here we are going to discuss how to pass command line arguments using command prompt. So first of all, we need to open command prompt. So just go to run type CMD. It will open command prompt. Once the command prompt is open, in command prompt, we need to go to the path where this exe file is available. And if you see D demo command line arguments demo command line arguments demo bin debug not dot net 6.0. And he this location we have this exe file, right? So I have mentioned this executable file over here and then command line arguments. So here I have passed three command line arguments Ravi software professional India. So basically three command line arguments I have passed against this exe which is placed in this location and if you see the output it is coming demo of command line arguments number of arguments three these those arguments are Ravi software professional India. If you notice in executable file I have mentioned with dot exe extension without mentioning the exe extension we can also execute and that's what you are able to see here in this statement I have given this path where this exe file is there and here I have not mentioned dot exe extension. I have just mentioned the exe name. Then I have passed this command line arguments and the same output we are going to get it. 
whenever we are going to pass command line arguments using command prompt we need to have some consideration okay the first consideration is all arguments should be in quotation we could write integer value without quotation that's okay and also each argument is separated by one single space and if you see this command line arguments how i have written i have written ravi in the quotation then a space then software professional under this quotation then a space then india and that's how we write command line arguments in command prompt passing command line arguments using dot bat file so here we are going to talk about how to pass a command line arguments using dot bat file what is bat file bat file is also known as batch file so batch file is a script file that stores command to be executed in a serial order it helps automate routine task without requiring user input or intervention okay let's see how to create a bat file okay and how we are going to pass this command line arguments in it okay so first of all we need to open one notepad in notepad we need to write command like this so here what we need to do we need to give this exe file name okay and then we need to pass this command line arguments and then i have written output.txt arrow mark why i have written because i just want to show you demo what are the you know um, command line statement got executed from this exe file those statement we are just printing into this output.txt so that's how i have added these things as an optional thing okay but if you see this is the exe file name over here i have not mentioned the path why i have not mentioned because i just going to keep this file in the same location where exe file resides okay and that's what i have mentioned that exe file name only i have not mentioned the full path okay now what i have done uh, i have written this command into this notepad file right and then we need to save this file with dot bat extension so bat file is nothing but the batch file and how we are going to execute for demo purpose what we are going to do we can just double click this my batch file dot bat and it will execute it and it will write this output into this output.txt file and this is the output we are able to see into this output.txt file so that's how we pass command line arguments using dot bat file let's see all these things practically so here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the command line argument for this what i have done i have created one console application this console application is having program.cs file in program.cs file i have written class my program under namespace command line arguments demo and in class my program has one main method which is an entry point of this application and here this main method it is going to accept this string array named args so here only we are going to capture the command line arguments right that we are passing outside from this application because this is an array so we are going to use the array properties and features to play with this command line argument that we are having into this string array itself right so that's what i have written this args.length so basically it will give us the number of arguments that is available into this string array and then what i am doing i am just iterating this string array and printing each element one by one into this console window so here what i am going to do i am just going to execute this okay let me execute this so if you see this output got printed into this console window and if you see demo of command line arguments number of arguments three those arguments are ravi software professional india how these values is coming right so we need to check it right so first of all just compare with the output with the statement that we have written over here okay so what i have done i am just printing this number of arguments so number of argument got printed and those arguments are those arguments are it also got printed as a statement and then this for each loop it is iterating and then printing into this because the three arguments got passed into this main method so one by one it got printed so first argument is ravi software professional and india and that's how it got printed into this console window right so let me close this okay now just go to the solution explorer okay and just right click this one right click properties once i click this property this properties window got open right so i have already set the command line arguments into visual studio and that's what it is taking from value from this 
settings and then printing into this console window so let me show you we need to go to the debug general and then open debug launch profile ui once i click this one if you see here command line argument ravi software professional that got printed into this uh, window right this is where we are mentioning this command line arguments right and that's how it got captured from the visual studio and then it is just going to get printed into this console window so that's how we are going to pass command line arguments using visual studio okay so that is the one way now what i need to do i just need to remove these things okay let me remove this i don't want this one and now if i go and execute this if you see the output number of argument zero those arguments are and then blank okay so because we have not passed any arguments and it is not taking from the visual studio settings also because we have removed that from there right so that's what number of argument pass is zero and those arguments are nothing got printed in for each loop it uh, it iterated but it did not find any elements into this string array so it came out and that's what nothing got printed so that's how we are going to get the output if you are not supplying any arguments from the outside the application and here in this case from the visual studio settings right so we did not pass anything so nothing got printed into this output window okay now we are going to see how to pass arguments using this command prompt so what i have done i have just went to the run prompt open uh, this command prompt and now i came to this location where our file is kept i mean the, where our exe file is there so what i need to do i just need to type command line arguments demo this is my executable name dot exe okay and then what i need to do i just need to pass this parameter for example i just pass uh, ravi okay that is the first argument and then i'm just going to write software professional okay and then i just need to give a space and then we need to write like this india let's suppose i have passed three into parameters okay and then i just need to go and click enter once i click enter i got this output right demo of the command line arguments number of arguments three those arguments are ravi software professional and india got printed so that's how we are going to pass command line arguments using command prompt and if you see the output it got printed also correctly right now what i need to do let me execute this from the bat okay so this is my new batch file okay so here in this bat file what we need to do i just need to pass this exe name and then we need to pass this uh, command line argument so basically i have three command line arguments ravi software professional india and this is uh, the output file it is going to get created and whatever the console dot right line statement is going to print into this console window those statement it is also get printed into this new output dot txt file okay so let me save this i just save that file and let me close now here my batch file is okay? so i just need to double click once i double click it will open okay so this is the new file and then i need to create so if you see here this new output file got generated and if you see this new output file it is having the same statement that we were printing into this console window the output got transferred into this text window and that's how we are receiving entry in this new output.txt file right now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what command line arguments are and how to pass and access them in c -sharp with examples so i hope you must be having now a clear understanding about command line arguments right that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video